Plans are on the table for a theater where education meets entertainment. Well, Gina, right now this area on 103rd Street near Compton Boulevard is just a field. But wait till you see what they're gonna build here. Come on. In a community where there hasn't been a movie theater in 35 years for kids to go to, or filmmaking classes, life is about to change. It's called Wattstar. It'll have two movie theaters and a video and filmmaking school. It's the dream of Barbara Stanton, who says, with Wattstar, not only will kids learn, but Hollywood producers will be able to bring filmmaking to Watts and give jobs to locals. It's combining the Hollywood community with the Watts community. Stanton says some of Hollywood's biggest studios are behind the project. I think this is a very exciting project. It's a much needed project. And I have a lot of respect for Barbara Stanton and the fine work that she does in the community. Having worked myself in Watts for more than seven years, I know how important it is to have growth and opportunities for jobs and for people to feel proud of the fact that it's a place to be for culture, for education, and for learning. Hi, my name is James Avery from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Please support the Watts Star Theater. Thank you. I think it'll be a place for people for creative outlets, for people who are involved in media or theater or any of the entertainment arts. Uh, I think it will be a means of expression for those people who are involved in the community and tend to somehow voice the opinions of that community. Hi, I'm Loretta Devine. Please support Watts Star and its education center. Thank you. If you ask kids on the street about Holly Watts, they'll tell you. That's cool. That's lovely right there. Right? You like that? Yeah. So what, do you, what do you girls think? You like that? Yeah, that'll be nice. And now, thanks to the Watch Star program, working under the hot lights of Hollywood could become more than just a dream for these three teens. You think it could become a reality now? No, I don't think I know it can. Evan Ross, please support the Watch Star Theater. It's gonna be big. <laughs> This big boy and them supporting the Watch Star Theater. Y'all need to go and put that thing up. They let them kids get these movies, get a little education, and everything. We need it, you know what I'm saying? In our community, it's going down, big boy outcasts like that. Chill. There's no doubt that the Watts community has a dynamic set of obstacles to overcome. But what the numbers and the negative media images don't reveal is that there is positive change happening in the Watts community. I'm proud of all the changes. Number one, we have uh, a team effort now. The word needs to get out that this is a major project uh, that will enhance uh, the cultural development of that community uh, because of the educational component that is connected with the theater. Yes, this traditionally invisible community is now in the middle of a renaissance. We are finally, finally doing what I think so many have believed for so long, and that's to revitalize the Watts community. It's been many years since we have had a real theater in the Watts community. I don't know how many, I've been here 30 years, and I don't recall uh, having one. So I think it's about time. Apparently, there's a need. Uh, so why not have one? There are more than 433,000 residents living within three miles of the proposed Watts Cinema and Education Center. And an astonishing one million people reside within five miles of the site. We should be involved in things that are positive and doing right for the community to make it better. Not just for us, but for our children and for their children. What is happening in Watts with the Cinema and Education Center is an example of the kinds of good things that all of us can bring together individuals, companies, big corporations. Five community housing developments will have computer access terminals linked directly to the theater's communication center. Where there's a tremendous need, no one questions the need. No one questions that it would be successful. It's just a matter of getting it going. We also have to get people in production, in the technical ends, cameramen, editors, all of those things, and that kind of training. We believe in diversity. We, we like to support um, all inner city projects. The projects such as Wattstar, uh, we all need to support. Um, because down the road, when we bring young people in, especially from the inner city, uh, into the studio system, youth is going to be the individuals that are going to 
take your industry to the next step down the road, and, and, and that's what it's all about. Numerous city, state, local, and private sector entities are working in concert to ensure that the Watts Cinema is not only a reality, but a resounding success. This is Cesar Treyes with Union Bank of California, Vice President for Corporate Community Development, urging you to support Watts Star. I'm Nancy Huntington with Manufacturers Bank. We proudly support the Watts Star Theaters, and so can you. Success depends on the center's ability to provide quality education, cultural enrichment, and training in entertainment careers for community residents. Through the audiovisual event of film, uh, television, it attacks the very depth of the subconscious mind. So it's a very, very crucial thing. So to have the Watt Cinema and Educational Center uh, here in a, a place where kids can go to receive a really strong understanding of the audiovisual event, it's a primo situation. City National has supported the Watt Star Theater, I believe, since the Watt Star Theater project began. This is Wendy Jackman urging you to support Watt Star. Educators and technical experts must be recruited. Curriculum must be refined and production hardware must be procured. Because there are many pieces involved in this becoming a reality. We, have to, we had to acquire the land, we had to do the construction, had to get the construction dollars, we had to get the uh, construction project through the uh, various hoops that you have to go through to get it approved. In a community that's as diverse as the Watts Willowbrook area, it's important to build bridges of understanding among diverse youth and give them the skills and education they're going to need to be competitive in the 21st century. The Watts Cinema and Education Center is going to provide those opportunities for youth to learn, to get the skills they need, to find good jobs in the real world. Most people don't have cars to go to the movies and stuff like that. They can walk or catch the bus right there. Right here in the shopping center, those were like the main privileges that we, that we ever had. And then we need something to complete it, you know? It's like it's not complete without a theater. Watts Cinema and Education Center, an innovative program for our children and our families of Watts. What's up, you KJLH is one of the only black-owned radio stations in Los Angeles, and that's one of the reasons that I love supporting the Watts Star Theater. Hello, this is Blair Underwood, urging you to support the Watts Cinema and Education Center, an important facility that will provide entertainment, education, and opportunity to the Watts Willowbrook community. The Metro Blue Line runs directly through Watts, and so Barbara Stanton envisions the first movie theater in Watts in three decades. We need someone to pay enough attention to help us complete it so that these youth have something to do in their own community. The Watts Star Theater will sit between the newly refurbished Watts Towers and a small park parallel to the Blue Line. A lot of money went into the opening of Hollywood Highland, I think about $300 million. Right here we need $11 million to complete the project. Not the first place that someone would pick to build a facility like this, but it's the one that's needed the most. 